Hello, this is Tim Bryan, teaching pastor at the Fellowship Church, and I'm here with our weekly devotion coming from Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 through 30. And here we find the words of Jesus. As he says, come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And our thought for our devotion today is come to Jesus just now. Come to Jesus just now. There was a song when I was growing up and I still hear it from time to time today. It says, come to Jesus just now. He will save you. He will save you just now. Today in our world, in America, it's time for all of us, everyone to come to Jesus just now. Believer, unbeliever, Come to Jesus just now. In the midst of, a, of the pandemic, social unrest, come to Jesus just now. Here we look at the opening verse, come to me. It is an invitation, a merciful invitation full of grace. Come is a word of encouragement. It's a free pardon. It's an offer of, of a robe of righteousness, of eternal life. It's an invitation to come with all of your baggage, all of our shortcomings, all of our sin, and find rest for our souls. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. It's rest from the guilt of sin, rest from the fear of the law, rest from the fear of hell. Do you know if you're saved today, what is your scriptural reference? Do you confess the Lord Jesus with your mouth and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead? If so, you are saved. He gives us rest from the fear of Satan, the accuser of the brethren. It's all about loving God and loving one another. It's time to repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. God's love, God is love. Perfect love cast out fear. 1 Corinthians 16 and 14 tells us, let all that you do be done with love. Love God with all your heart, soul, and mind, and love your neighbor. Let us love one another as ourselves. Love your neighbor as yourself. And as we get ready to close our, our devotion time, we look at this word yoke. Verse 29, take my yoke upon you and learn from me for I am gentle and lowly in heart and you will find rest for your souls. To find rest, we are to be yoked with Jesus Christ. To be yoked is a form of submission. A form of servanthood. In biblical times, when the oxen, two oxen would be yoked, they would take a, a older, more experienced ox and team it with a younger, less experienced ox. And the older one would take the lead. He, would, he bears more of the burden, more of the weight of the load. 
he teaches the younger one. And the thing about this yoke is that it is handcrafted. It fits. When Jesus yokes us, it's a good fit. It is secure. It is fastened. It is a good fit and he leads us. I was so glad when one day that I got rid of my heavy load and allowed myself to be yoked up with Jesus. Come to Jesus just now. Understand as we close with verse 30, he said, for my yoke is easy. It's a good fit. It's secure. And my burden is light. Jesus will never leave you nor forsake you. He'll carry the load for us. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. This is my prayer.